Welcome to Life Words Day by Day. In 1 Samuel chapter 10, verse 5, Samuel says to Saul, After that, you shall come to Gibeath Elohim, the hill of God, where there is a garrison of the Philistines. And there, as soon as you come to the city, you will meet a group of prophets coming down from the high place with harps, tambourine, flute, and lyre before them, prophesying. And then the Spirit of the Lord will rush upon you, and you will prophesy with them and be turned into another man. Now, when these signs meet you, do what your hand finds to do, for God is with you. So get this. On the hill of God is a garrison or a group of Philistine soldiers. When you get there, Saul, the Spirit of the Lord is, will rush upon you, and you are to do what your hand finds to do because God is with you. Well, that's a strange phrase, isn't it? Do what your hand finds to do. What is Samuel getting at when he tells Saul this? Well, we see a similar phrase in Judges chapter 9, verse 33, and there it has to do with military advancement and attack. Could this be why Samuel mentions the Philistine garrison? Here's an opportunity, Saul, for you to have faith in God, the power of God upon you, and let him move through you to attack the enemy from whom you are to deliver your people. But we do not hear of that taking place. We see a little bit of military might later on in Saul's career, but here we seem to get a sneak peek on what's going to be like in the majority of Saul's reign, and that is that Saul is spiritually yellow. He is a spiritual coward, unwilling to trust the Lord's presence and power in his life. So Israel is getting what they asked for, a king like the other nations but it is not at all what they need. As you pray today, please remember Tommy Rose and his family, our missionaries in Mexico. And also remember the Safwa LifeWord broadcast that's heard throughout Tanzania.